And that's where we're developing Azer cell. And so we've now seen a complete response rate, which means there's no sign of the lymphoma. That rate is 57%, which is quite good. And we're very um, happy with that. Hello and welcome back to the Proactive Australia studio. I'm Tyler Tully and today I'm joined by Emu James, CMO, Dr. Paul Woodard and CEO Leslie Chong, who's going to talk us through the company's recent news. Paul, Leslie, thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. And Paul, we'll start with you. You're actually joining us from Honolulu at the Tandem Conference. How's it going there? It's going well. It's uh, physicians and nurses and people who take care of patients who have either bone marrow transplants or cellular therapies. So it's it's good. Oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. So Imugene's announced some more positive results today from phase 1B clinical trial evaluating ACER cell. What can you share about those results? It's very exciting. So these are patients who received standard types of treatments. Um, which might include chemotherapy and antibodies for their first treatment, followed by an autologous CAR T-cell, which is from their own T-cells. And then really after that, they've unfortunately progressed in their disease. Um, And once patients get to that point, there's really not a standard of care or standard treatment for that. And that's where we're developing Azer cell. And so we've now seen a complete response rate, which means there's no sign of the lymphoma. That rate is 57%, which is quite good, and we're very um, happy with that. Leslie, I'll direct this next one to you. Can you tell us more about these complete responses and what they actually mean? So this is building on our initial announcement that we've added a low dose of IL-2 to Azer cell. So just the process is that patients get lymphodepletion, which is a chemo regimen, then they get uh, Azer cell and low dose of IL-2. And what we have found is that there's a proliferation of T cells, meaning their own immune system is being riled up due to our Azer cell. So it's, uh, it's delightful to see that that particular regimen is doing so well, such that we have 57% response rate, and we're starting to see durability, which is lovely for these patients, especially whom have failed four different lines of therapy, and to come into uh, a clinical trial on with their fifth line and to see responses, um, it's a, it's a it's a wonderful thing for us. Thanks for that, Leslie. Paul, just finally, can you talk us through the patient experience and journey? Yes, yeah, so patients, um, as I mentioned before, receive chemotherapy with a monoclonal antibody. Um, about 50 to 60% of patients are cured using that. But unfortunately for those who are not, they typically receive these autologous CAR T cells, which are made from their own T cells. After that, if they've unfortunately had a relapse, they receive chemotherapies, antibodies. There's really not a standard treatment. There's nothing that works very well. So that's the space that Azer cell is being uh, used in. So these are patients have progressed after four or sometimes five different treatments. They receive Azer cell and they go into a complete remission. And what's really encouraging is not just the remission rate, but these remissions are lasting a long time and they're still ongoing. We have a patient who's more than 10 months in complete remission, which is remarkable. Paul, Leslie, thanks for joining me. And Paul, enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you. Thank you.